Before we get into kinetic theory of atoms, we need to cover some preliminaries. The first one being a AMU, Avogadro's number, and ideal gas law. So let's start at the very beginning. It's a very nice place to start. The AMU uh, is the atomic mass unit. So this is one twelfth, one twelfth of a carbon twelve atom. And one AMU is equal to one point zero one point six six zero five times ten to the minus twenty seven kilograms. It's very, very small. Next, Avogadro's number, which I just realized I forgot about. That's when we can begin to talk about the mole. So the mole, let's get there. A mole of atoms is the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12. So it really is the metric unit for amount of stuff. How much stuff do you have? Well, I got two moles. I got three moles of it. I got three moles of cars. I got three moles of pens. I have three moles of, oh, what else I got? Well, okay, I have one chip. I have one Avogadro's number. So uh, his number, Avogadro, number of Avogadro is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles per mole. So this is how many particles you have per mole. So the number of chips I have is one 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of a mole. So what's nice is, so we use N for number of moles. And the number of moles is the, um, could be a, written a couple different ways. We can use it a couple different ways. So we can talk about the mass of a particle times the number of particles you have divided by the mass of a particle times the mass times Avogadro's number. And that's going to give you your total mass divided by the mass per mole. Mass per mole, which is also called the molar mass. All right. Why do I care about this? Because this mass per mole in grams per mole is equal to the atomic mass of a of a atomic mass of an atom in AMU. So, where's my where'd it go? I just had it. My there we go. So when we talk about my periodic table and I look at the, what do we got here? Look at the mass per the atomic mass. That's how much one mole weighs in grams. So carbon weighs 12.011, uh, nitrogen is 14.067, that kind of stuff. What? Where would we use that? So let's talk about the Hope Diamond. Here's the diamond. Here's the Hope Diamond. The Hope Diamond is 44.5 carats. So there are 0.2 grams per carat. So they, um, how many carbon atoms do I have? Atoms in the Hope Diamond. Well, let's see here. So first let's find out how many moles there are. Well, that's the total mass divided by the mass per mole mass per mole. The total mass is 44.5 carats times 0.2, which turns out to be 8.90 grams. That's very small. Now, what's the molar mass? Diamonds are carbon. The molar mass of carbon is 12.011 grams per mole. How do I know that? Well, I looked it up on here again, so let's zoom in on this a little bit. All right. Whoa, there it is. All right. Well, I like this better when I was back down here. All right. So there's the uh, 
There's carbon again. Aluminum's floating around here somewhere. Where it is? Thought I saw it. Where is it? Why do I not? It's in there. Why can't I find it? Anyway, so let's go back to this gives me 0 0.741 moles. There are 0.741 moles in the Hope Diamond. But I don't want that. I want to know how many carbon atoms there are. Well, the number of moles is just the number of particles divided by Avogadro's number. So I now know the number of moles. I can multiply that times Avogadro's number, and that's going to give me the number of particles. What particles? These particles. My carbon atoms. So I multiply that around. I take 0.741 times Avogadro's number, and I end up with 4.46 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now, there's another di there's another one that's called the Rosser Reeves Ruby. It's one of the largest ones. Oh, Reeves is going to get really mad at me. Rosser Reeves Ruby. Ruby is made up of it is Al2O3. It's functionally sapphire with a little bit of chrome in it. We can ignore the chrome. Here is the Rosser Reeves, an a uh, molecule of aluminum. How many molecules are there? of A2, Al2O3. That's why I was looking for it on the periodic table. This is one of the questions you have for tomorrow. Now, finally, let's take a look at the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law is PV equals NRT, where P is pressure. V is volume, N is the number of moles, T is the temperature in kelvins, and then R is the Rydberg constant, also called the ideal gas constant, ideal gas constant which is 8.31 joules per Kelvin. That's the ideal gas law. But sometimes we like to move things around and we don't like to use moles. We want to use something different. So PV N, where the number of moles is the number of particles divided by Avogadro's number, becomes N over NA times R times T. N is the number that you're looking for. R is a constant, and Avogadro's number is a constant. So R over NA is actually another constant. It's Boltzmann. Boltzmann's constant. He's going to show up a little bit later, too. But it's another K. It's KB. So then PV equals N, N capital N, number of particles, times KBT. Boltzmann's constant, if you take 8.31 divided by Avogadro's number, you end up with 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd joule, Kelvins, joule per Kelvins. So those are your big three ideas that we need for uh, getting into kinetic theory. And remember to try to figure out how many aluminum molecules, alumina, aluminum oxide molecules there are in the Rosser-Reeves ruby for tomorrow.